Thank you, Jesus. Lord, there's a bunch of people here that would like wisdom tonight. And there's no better wisdom than the Word of God and the Holy Ghost. That's at the top. No question about it. All of us believe that. Is there anybody here who doesn't believe that? Raise your hand so I can have a special prayer for you. Anybody here who doesn't believe that? The Word of God is number one. And the Holy Ghost is at the top. Anybody here not believe that? Okay, everybody believes that. Okay, well, we're, we're going to, this is going to go well. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, there's people here tonight that need wisdom. I did the best I could tonight to take your word and show them how fear works, how boat rides work, how training works, how, how trusting works. And I want to apologize to you, Lord. I've had incidents in my life. I can remember several of them where I was doubting. And that meant that I was not trusting you. And I owe you an apology. I was wrong. It was foolish of me not to trust you. It was foolish. And I am wrong. And I am so sorry. It has cost me dearly. I have blessings in my life I cherish. I have many blessings I've missed out on. I have anointing in my life, and I cherish it, but there's anointings I've missed out on. I'm not where I should be in my life or in the ministry at the Arizona Deliverance Center, and I apologize for it. I apologize. I've had areas in my life where I have been afraid. And that means that I wasn't trusting you. I didn't trust you. And that was 100% my fault. I was at fault. I had these scriptures. I knew about these boat rides. But unfortunately, when I got out of the boat, I didn't get back on. I stayed on shore. So I need your forgiveness, Lord, for letting fear demons in my life. Fear has paralyzed me. Fear has hurt me. Fear has kept me from being all I want to be in Christ. And dear God, I ask you to forgive. I'm asking you to forgive me. And tonight I need wisdom to find out why I have fear, how the demons are giving me fear, how they're tricking me. I need wisdom to see this so I can destroy it through faith in Christ and use my anointing to destroy this bondage. I've been on a million diets and got off a million of them. I'm happy for a while, then I'm depressed. I have friends for a while, and then they leave me. I serve you for a while, and then I relapse. I need wisdom tonight, Lord. Show me why. I forgive my husband, my brother, my sister, my dad, but then, then I get mad at him again. Then I, then I, he comes back. I need wisdom, Lord. I need wisdom. I want to fulfill my destiny. I want to be everything I was called to be. I don't want to live like this anymore. I saw that Bible study tonight, and I'm going to look past Brother Mike's antics and look at the word he had on the screen, and I'm going to receive it. I got out of my boat, and I shouldn't have. I should have stayed on during the storm. I ran when I was afraid, but I should have stuck it out. I should have fought through, and I didn't. And it cost me later. It's costing me tonight. I'm not the Christian I was supposed to be. And I know. 
Time is short. I can see it. And I'm getting older. I'm not as old as Brother Mike, but the years are catching up to me. I'm in my 40s now, and it seems like yesterday I was in my 20s. The devil is sucking my life down to the pits of hell, and I want out. I want out now. In Jesus' holy name. All right, come on down here. You're going to get healed and delivered. Come on down. You got fear in your life? You lack wisdom? Hmm? Let him ask of God who gives to people liberally and generously. But let them ask in faith. Nothing wavering. For he that wavers is like a wave in the sea driven by the wind and tossed around. But tonight you've had enough of being tossed around. Yes, you have. You've had it. You're sick of it. If you're an addict, you are burned out with being an addict, period. You're so sick of it, you can't even believe it. You addicted to something, anything, any addiction, any addiction, it's based in a spirit. Spirits either cause the addictions or they exacerbate them. It's one or the other. They're involved somehow. You got an addiction. Yes. You got people you've forgiven in the past. Now they did something bad to you again. Oh, it all came back. Oh, my God. I can feel it in my stomach. Unforgiveness can be felt here in your torso. Can you feel it in there? It almost feels like an ulcer sometimes. It's not an ulcer, but it kind of has a, it's like pressure in there. Bitterness is even worse. It just sinks down in your gut. And it stays with you the rest of your life. You end up losing everything. 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 Bitterness will steal everything. But tonight, you're getting rid of it. You're going to take your authority in Christ and drive that bitterness right out of you and the loneliness and the depression. You're going to stop these bad habits and these addictions are going to die tonight. Lord, I pray, pray a prayer right now of death. I call down death. Praise God. Praise Jesus. Die! Yes. Drugs, alcohol, Anger, bitterness, resentment. Die right now in Jesus' mighty name. Thus saith the Lord. Go ahead and repent of it. The Holy Spirit will start moving. Dear Lord Jesus, I receive that gift of death. I receive the gift of death for these addictions, these bad habits, these negative thoughts. These bad attitudes, this pride and this hypocrisy, I receive it right now in the name of Jesus. I curse smoking. I curse pot. I curse alcohol. I curse overeating. I curse drinking too much and eating too much. I command it in the name of Jesus. Die! Die tonight! Die in Jesus' mighty name. Say it. Thus saith the Lord. I command you to die in Jesus' mighty name. Every filthy habit, every lie, every stroke of bitterness, every ounce of unforgiveness, I command you to die. Die in Jesus' mighty name. Lust, I command you to die. Porn, I command you to die. Unbelief. Doubting, wavering, eating anxiety, eating food when I'm anxious. I repent of it at this very second. Satan, I command you to come out of my body right now. I commanded you to die and now you must go. Come out in Jesus' holy name. Come out right now in the name of the Lord. Come out right now in the name of the Lord. Come out right now. There they come. Come on out of there. Come out right now. Satan, come out. Satan, come out of my body right now. 
Come on, you have to get mad. You gotta get mad. You can't sit there and do nothing. You rotten devil, I bind your power. I command you, thus saith the Lord, come out now. You got a demon you can't get rid of. He's been haunting you for years. Put your hands on your head. You got a demon in your brain. Put your hand on your head. Put your hand on your head. Brain demons are the worst demons. They're the hardest ones to get out, the ones in your brain. Satan, get out of my head. I want you out now. Come out of my head, schizophrenia. OCD, OCD. I speak death to you. OCD, paranoia, paranoia, die, paranoia, die. The dying leper walked up to Jesus. He looked at that leprosy. He said, die, die, you filthy leprosy, die in Jesus' mighty name. You got brain demons you can't get rid of. Put your hands on your head. Put your hands on your head. You have dreams, bad dreams, lust dreams, fear dreams. They're in your subconscious, in your mind. Put your hands on your head. Lust dreams, fear dreams, paranoia dreams. Come out in Jesus' holy name. Come out. You got pain in your body? You got pain in your body? Come down here and I'll pray for you. You got pain in your body? You spirit of infirmity. I command you. Come out of my body right now. Come out of my back. Get out of my legs. Come out of my knees. Come out of my back, you filthy spirit. Bitterness, resentment, unforgiveness. Come out of me. I want to be healed. I want to be healed. I command bitterness, resentment, low self-esteem. Come out. Come on, you can't get healed if you got bitterness. The root of bitterness is like cancer. It's like cancer. You can't get healed. If you get healed, it'll come right back. God wants you to repent of bitterness, unforgiveness, low self-esteem. He wants you to do that first. So your healing will stick. You, it will stick. Do you need to be healed? Repent of it. Quickly. Quickly do it. Who's the worst person? You have to forgive. Who's the worst person? Yourself. Yourself. Yourself is the hardest person to forgive. Because you were there through every one of your failures. Every one of your losses. Every one of your defeats. You were there for every one of them. And therefore, it's hardest to forgive yourself than anybody else. That's the hardest person to forgive. Come on now, just repent of it. In the name of Jesus. Hey, what's wrong with you? What do you need? You know him? That's your son? What's wrong with him? About a month ago, he started um, to have panic attacks and washing his hands over and over. He has open wounds now. Yeah, hey. admitted him to the hospital two days ago. Yeah, hey, that's a fear demon. How do you get in there? How do you get in? A fear demon. How do you get in there? Yeah. You worry about things? Yeah. Okay, so he... He, he, he doesn't trust God to help him, so he worries about stuff. The demons then jumped in his body, but he's been doing it over a long period of time. He didn't just start doing it yesterday. They, no, kids don't tell their parents everything. That's very common, okay? Now, do you want to be healed? You do? Okay, just follow my instructions and raise your hands. 
Just repeat after me, dear Lord Jesus, I'm so sorry for what I've done. Please have mercy on my soul. Please forgive me, Lord. I'm so sorry. I worried about things. I didn't trust you. And now I have demons of anxiety. And that's causing my mother to be sick. I'm causing my mother to be sick. She is having anxiety now and is starting to develop the same demons the son has. Uh oh, come on out of there. Come out. Come out of there right now. I release my son to the Lord and I let him go. And I repent of worrying about him. I repent of worrying about him because I'm making him sicker. And I'm making myself sicker. You spirit of fear from my son, come out. There it is. Breathe. Breathe. Take a big breath. Thank you, Jesus. Come out of there, devil. Come on out quickly. Come out of there right now. There he is. Keep coughing. He's coming out right now. That's them. There it comes. There it comes. Hold this. There it comes. Come on out. Come on out, buddy. Quickly come out. Quickly come out. I release my son to the Lord. I let my son go. I let my son go. Come out of my body right now. Yes, all my son's demons. Yes, there you go. Good girl. Hey, how come you're not praying? Hmm? How come you're not praying? Well, here, uh, uh, listen, they're going to eventually kill you. Not tomorrow, but a few years from now, you're going to be dead. So you need to come home now. You need to do it now. Here's how you do it. Lord Jesus, I apologize for what I did. I'm so sorry for what I did. Please help me. I'm sorry I hurt my mother. Oh, that demon in your head just told you to look at your son. He did, I just caught him. Yep, he told you to look around there. You're, you haven't repented. Come on. Come on now. Come on, sweetheart. It's going to go really bad for you if you don't do this. Your son's got to be released. You can't heal your son and you can't help him. You've tried your best. He's getting sicker. He's get, the more you help him, the sicker he gets. Every spirit of fear and worry, come out of me. Come on, sweetie. Take a breath and blow. Take a breath and blow. Come out, devils. Come on out of there. Quickly come out. Quickly come out. Yeah, that girl. Tell him to come out. Come on out. Come on out. Lord, forgive me for hurting my mother and making her sick. Forgive me for making myself sick. Please forgive me, Lord. I don't want to end up totally disabled. I don't want to end up with social security disability. I don't want to end up with no career, no life, no family, no life, no love, nothing. The devil's stealing everything from me. And I command him to come out in the name of Jesus. I come, on. Stop. come on, that body right now. Stop worrying about him. Come on, that body. Fear causes your son to get sicker and sicker. He's going to die on Social Security. He's not going to have a family, no life, no job, nothing. This is what you want? No. Come out. Come out in Jesus' name. There it comes. Keep coughing. Come. Here he comes. Come out. Come out. There he is right there. There he comes. Come out. There he comes. Come out, devil. Come on out, devil. Come out. Come out. Come out. Hey, the demons are flying out of your mother. Look at them. See them coming up? Those are demons from your family. Probably from her husband. Probably from you. Lord, forgive me for hurting my mother. The Bible says that if I dishonor my mother, my life is cursed. And I don't want to die on Social Security disability with nothing. Dear God, save me. Lord Jesus, save me. Lord Jesus, save me. Get the rest of them devils out of you. Come on, that body right now. You hear me? You let the mother go. You let her go. Thank you, Jesus. I officially release my son to the Lord. He's not my responsibility anymore. I'm turning him over to Jesus. I'm getting back in the boat. Thank you, Jesus. 
Thank you, Jesus. You speak in tongues? Uh, no. Let me just pray after me then. Ready? Bruma shava, voresheve, yekumasa, alovashia. Perfect. Okay, follow me again and just add some syllables on your own. You ready? Good, there it is. C keep going, right there. There it is, right there. Hey, your mother, your mother is getting healed. She's speaking in tongues. You can too. Hmm? Yeah, yeah, he's, I'm trying to get him to pray here. Hey, listen. <clears throat> hey. These fear demons got, are in your body. They're hiding in there. Do you get dreams from them? Any kind of dreams. Do you get bad dreams of any kind? Hmm? About my hands? About anything. Bad dreams? You do? That's them. They're giving it to you. They're trying to take your mind from you. They know you're intelligent. They don't want you to serve the Lord. They know you have spiritual potential. They hate your guts. They're going to finish it. If you don't pray, you got to pray and repent. You got to repent. Can you do that? Okay, go ahead. Just list off every sin you can think of and apologize for doing it, okay? Hey, how'd them fear demons get in there? What fear demons? How'd they get in there? Um, I guess fear of losing my husband. Hmm, why? Did he cheat on you or something? We both cheated on each other. Oh, okay. Before. Right. But he, he refuses to. You still married? Yes. Oh, okay. Yeah. Now, come on over here. I'll show you how to fix this. Okay. Now, uh, you're a poster child for my teaching tonight. I wish I'd had your picture. I would have put it up there. Okay. Uh, your husband is going to continue to get worse. So he's not going to get better at all? No, he's going to get worse. He's going to get worse. And one of the reasons he's going to get worse is you. Okay, so by you worrying about him, trying to fix him, giving him advices, having him wondering what he's doing, all those things. But how am I not supposed to do that? He's my husband. Because you have no faith. You have to do it. Oh, it is too true. I'm, I'm sorry, it is. You worrying is fear and faith cannot exist with fear and if you try to keep helping him and fixing him instead of allowing God to do it that's fear and that's failure okay now if you don't believe me I want you to wait another six months and you come back when he's much worse then and we'll and we'll talk about it again yeah so when I'm, I speak to him, like he comes at me like, mm -hmm. like this is going wrong, and this is because I'm always the yeah. perfect person. When he comes he, at he me, he blames like that, you. I I go back with the word of God. No, but that isn't gonna to work. By faith, not by sight. That isn't gonna work. It's not gonna work. Cut it. Why? Quoting the Bible to demons doesn't work. Has it worked? It calms him down. Uh, temporarily, and then it comes right back later, right? Okay, thank you. Your unbelief and fear in here by worrying about him and trying to fix him and wondering if he's cheating on you. I don't want I don't, okay. that doesn't even, like, sometimes it bothers me, but it doesn't yeah. bother me. Like, I trust God. Okay, can I just tell you my story? No. Now I listen. Trust God. Oh, uh, yeah. That, now listen, that, you come back and see me in six months, okay? But I won't be here in six months. Where are you going? I'm going back home. Where's that? In New Mexico. Oh, man. How long will you be here? I'll be here for another month. Okay. Now, this will, you'll understand this. Worry is fear. 
correct? If I worry about anything, that means I don't have faith because I'm worrying about it. I agree with you. Yeah. So you doing the same thing over and over, he comes at you, his demons come at you, boom. And you start blabbing off the word. Blah, 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 blah. Oh, that calmed his demons down for a minute. Until next time. See, you don't want him calmed down for a minute. You want him healed. So I just have to cut him off? And yeah, your faith. No, no, no. Your faith allows you to turn him over to God and let him go. I have faith that God's going to restore my family. Not the way you're doing it. Blah, 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 blah. Didn't work. Doesn't work. Correct? Oh, my God. Right. Stop it. But you win. You can win over your husband. No, you can't. He, he's, his demons are not going to. Oh, that's ridiculous. His demons are not going to listen to your blah, 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 blah. In fact, they want you to do it. They want you to do anything they know won't work. So what do I do? Are you God, stop. Go. No. They want you to do that. So if he if he comes at you and you feel it, that's them. I, I, I turn it off. I don't even finish reading his text. It's because emotional. I don't want that to come in. I don't yeah. want that. Okay. So I cut it off. Okay. Right. Okay. See that lady there? See that lady there? She's doing what I told you to do. She's. See that lady right there? No. See that lady? She let him go. Yeah. You let your husband go. You'll be delivered like that. But he's not in God's hand because you keep blabbing at him. He's in your hands. You're doing it. You said it. God didn't do it. You did. And he gets worse. He's getting worse. You don't see that? He always does the same thing. Satan, I bind your power. You quiet it down. No, and then later on, boom, he's on you again. It's, it's a circus. You are in a ride at the fair. There you go. You're on the Ferris wheel. You're going nowhere. They're tricking you. They're smarter than you are. God, I'm not talking, I'm talking to you. They're smarter than you are. They're playing you. I'm not talking about him. He's fine. I'm talking to you. Your God, right, he's fine. I, that's right. He's a, doing what you're doing? No. How do you know God's not flowing through you when it doesn't work? God is not a screw up. We are. Oh, I know that. And if you're doing something that doesn't work, it's not of God. But a gentle answer turns away wrath. It's what? A gentle answer turns away wrath. Was it working? Was it working? Is your husband healed? Is he is it working? You think it's working? Okay, you come back and see me in six months and we'll sit down. You call me in six months and give me an update on how it's working. Okay? I'm just going to... Heavenly Father, I rebuke that in the name of Jesus. My husband is going to be made whole by faith. I rebuke every word curse spoken into the atmosphere and every spirit of unbelief has to go right now in the name of Jesus. And I step out on faith and I'm going to water walk and Jesus, you are going to save my family. You're going to unite them. You're going to fix them. You're going to heal them. And my husband is going to be delivered, set free, and proclaiming God's glory at the top of his lungs in the name of Jesus. Amen. That's what I believe. Now you got to get healed. I am healed. You're worrying about your husband. You have fears. He's a thought. Okay. Well, Heavenly Father, if I have any worry, 
worry yeah. or doubt or anything in me. Take it out. Are they Jesus, gone? Please. I feel good. I feel I'm not shaking. Did you let him go? Yes. Oh, I had a girl. I had a girl. Okay, you let him go. Now, what's gonna? God's gonna have to break him. Okay. He he can't be. Uh, prayer's not gonna work. He has to be cracked. Okay. Okay. Like that girl, that lady I was just talking to. She has to be cracked. She wasn't listening to anything I said. She has to be cracked. See? But he won't, God won't crack him if you don't let him go. God won't crack him if you don't let him go. Because then you'll be hurt if he makes a move on him. See that? When this happened, I was literally, I've been up all night vomiting, diarrhea. Those are, see a preach? Those are fear spirits. Yeah. Oh, he's doing a lot worse than that now. Oh, sure. You got to let him go if you want to get healed. Now, all them demons that came out of you, that was the anointing. You have it. See that? No, there's not supposed to be any food come out. All we want is the demons to come out. Okay? So don't leave. I got to give you something before you leave. Okay? Stay here. Okay. Like that. What's going on in the old noggin? What happened from last week to this week? What did happen? I mean, your mind. I mean, your mind. Your, 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 your IQ is high. See, you're smart. Okay, and then whenever uh, the demons find somebody like you, they send them the high IQ ones. And then they get into your head. And then they hide right here in your frontal lobe. They're harder than heck to get out. Because you're smart. I sometimes don't believe I'm smart. Don't, no, you are. You're very bright. Dummies don't get those demons. They get the regular ones. Lust, fear, anger, crap like that. You got the thinkers. Now you got two choices. You can summon whatever willpower you got in there and cry out to God with everything you got, or we can wait for God to break you. I always want them to go with the former. The breaking thing is hard on everybody, including me. But these brain demons, that's sometimes that's the only way they come out. Okay. So, you got the anointing. You speak in tongues? Okay. Now, let's go ahead. Go ahead. Oh, that's excellent. Good. Come on up here. Now, your gift of tongues sounds a little stale like it hasn't been uh, used a lot. So we can fix that real easy. Ready? Go ahead. No, louder. Louder. No, louder. Louder. Now close your eyes. Yeah, nobody's looking at you. You're alone here. Just like that. Loud. Loud. Good. Better. Better. Thank you. Better. Better. Thank you. Hundirumushadrasa. Yellumushadrasa. Elova shadrime. Louder. Scream it out. Yomushata. Come on. Push your way in. Undemushandrava. There you go. Louder. Oreveshelemo. Yako Rashaveka, like that. Blow it out of there. Hundre Moshandrima. Louder. There you go. Good. Better. Much better. Louder. Dudur Moshandre Moshavava. Crank it out. Boom. Good. There you go. YouTubers, listen to me. 
If you got brain demons, you listen to me? You listen to me? If you got brain demons, this guy right here at the altar, you can't see him because we got the lights out, but this guy at the altar has got brain demons. Brain demons get into people's uh, brains who have high IQs or higher IQs. They're usually very intelligent people. So the devil sends them intelligent, high IQ demons. Once these demons get into your brain, they go to your frontal lobe and they are harder than heck to get out. They're very hard to get out. The only way they can come out is if the person fights with fury or God breaks them. Those are the only two things I've seen to get these brain demons out. Number three, YouTubers. They hate the gift of tongues because they don't know what you're saying. And so you're praying directly to God, as it says in 1 Corinthians, and they don't know what you're saying. Hey, would you give uh, her and um, the tongues thing? Oh, yeah, sure. YouTubers, listen to me. Brain demons, they're the toughest demons to get out. And if the person, A, won't fight with fury and hate them, the demons take it as a, as a welcome mat and they assume you want to keep them. So I try to get the person to fight with fury. If they won't fight with fury, then number two, the Holy Spirit in His mercy comes in and breaks the person. Bang! Sickness, illness, car wreck, uh, something bad happens to them. That's the only way to break them. I got two guys here at the altar tonight. You can't see them because the lights are down. But these two guys right here, they got brain demons. Actually, there's three. Three people down here at the altar have got brain demons. And their future is shot. These demons control the person's mind and they don't know it. They put thoughts in their mind that sound exactly like their thoughts. They put mental distractions in their mind. They drift off into all kinds of religiosity. Religion here, this, that, and this, and that. Weird stuff. Then they attack your dreams. You have dreams, weird dreams. If I can't get them to fight with fury, then I gotta pray and ask God to break them and I don't wanna pray that prayer. I don't like to do it. Now one guy down here came for prayer. He's got brain demons. His mother repented tonight and she agreed to let her son go into the hands of the Lord and let him go and let him go and then she got delivered she got her gift of tongues you see that if you'll release if you'll release someone you love someone you're fighting to get healed and you're trying to fix them and you're worrying about them if you'll repent of all that and release them and let them go, get out of that body, you rotten devil. What are you doing in there? Come out right now, you stinking spirit. You familiar spirit, I curse you. Every demon from his parents and his grandparents, I bind your power. Come out of this man of God right this second. He commands you to come out. He commands you to come out. Satan, I command you to come out of my body right this second. I command you to come out. Just get mad. Spirit. Come out of my stomach. Get out of my brain right now, quickly. You got to fight with fury to get brain demons out. They're harder than heck to get out. They don't come out, they dig in like Alabama ticks. You have to fight with fury to get them out. You have to learn to speak in tongues and sing in tongues. 
huge. Brain demons hate speaking in tongues and singing in tongues. They hate it. Yeah? Now, any, any of you YouTubers have got brain demons, you've got high IQs, you're smart. Okay? You're smart. Usually, the person that has brain demons is an intelligent person. That's how they get caught. The, de the devil sends them these high IQ demons, and then they take over the person's mind. They distract their mind. They make them think about all kinds of different things, except them. They don't care what you think of. They don't even care if you're in the ministry. You're ministering, you're praying, you're helping others. They don't give a rat's fanny whether you're doing that or not. All they care about is they get to stay in your head. That's all they care about. Because in the long run, they know they're going to kill you. They're going to kill you. These brain demons are murderers. But they're subtle about it. Subtle thoughts. Mind control. YouTubers, listen to me. Mind control spirits are the hardest demons to get out. They drive deliverance people nuts. Drive us nuts. Because the person won't fight for their lives. They're in a mental coma. They're just repeating the same thing over and over and over again. Oh my God, this crap's again, this crap again. You gotta be kidding. Really? I gotta go through this again? These thoughts, these dreams, this negativity, this stupidity? Mind control spirits. They're monsters. They eventually take over your entire mind. They take over your mind. YouTubers, listen to me. Go to the website, hardcorechristianity.com. you got to read a couple articles. How Satan controls the mind. I was just talking about that. How Satan controls the mind. The other article, Satan's counterattack. You will be hit within 48 hours of this service. You will be hit. They're going to try and steal everything you learned about boats. And they're going to try and steal your healing and your deliverance and everything else. They're going to steal everything. Because they come to steal and they come to kill and they come to destroy. See you next time. Brother Mike, HardcoreChristianity.com. Send me an email, Mike at HardcoreChristianity.com. Please come in for a counseling session if you happen to live in Arizona. There's no charge to born-again Christians. 602-636-5800. See you next time.